After reading the title of this video, you're probably wondering what strain of crack I've been smoking today. I'll have you know that I'm as sober as a priest. Have y'all taken a look at the games that have come out this year? There's not f***ing many. We've had Stellar Blade, Helldivers 2, and Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. And believe me, I know goddamn well that Helldivers 2 is most likely gonna win between the three of these hoes. But the fact that Suicide Squad is even a runner-up is some schizophrenic work. The game not only ruined the continuity of the Arkhamverse, the beloved Arkhamverse, but it absolutely obliterated it. I don't think people understand this. The path that Suicide Squad killed the Justice League took after Arkham Knight? The gameplay style, the story, is that what we have to expect in Arkhamverse stories from here on out? Gameplay that looks like Sunset Overdrive. Stories written by Sweet Baby. This was not the move. I've been calling the game Career Suicide Squad for a reason. Pay close attention when I say this, okay? They done fucked up so hard that even the fan base, me included, has chosen to exclude the game from the Arkham timeline. If anything, the game takes place in a parallel universe. And that's that. But all of this brings me to one question, bro. Where the game's at? I'm getting bored. I'm getting tired. The nerdy world of video gaming has been radio silent for weeks. Do y'all know how hard it is to make content while y'all don't give a nigga anything to talk about? I've said this before and I'ma say it again. There is a likely chance that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will be nominated for Game of the Year. Let me Google something real quick. I wanna know something. Jesus Christ! 102 active players. Are you mad? Is this the game we are going to nominate for Game of the Year today? Is this what gaming has come to? I rebuke it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is not what I want in gaming in 2024. What kind of alternate reality are we living in for this to even be a possibility that it's gonna be nominated for any kind of trophy? The game sucks! We all know this, it's common knowledge, but that's the height of gaming this year. We've had our highs with Helldivers 2 and Stellar Blade, and our lows like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, and the upcoming Ubisoft game Star Wars Outlaws. Upcoming, I should say downtrodden, that game ain't going nowhere. Since WB loves talking about the multiverse and just about everything that they're a part of, even got a whole ass game called Multiverses, let's talk about the universe that we currently live in. We're living in the one possible timeline, where we possibly have to give game awards to digital bullshit. I'm gonna need Insomniac to hurry up and drop that Wolverine game already. Cause for one, I'm running out of patience. Wasn't that shit supposed to drop like early this year? What happened? What's going on, boy? Why is gaming so boring this year? I can count on one hand all the games I've played since the start of 2024. Seriously, the lack of new games this far into 2024 is goddamn concerning. Drop a like and a share if you're feeling what I'm saying. And here's a serious question for y'all. What do you want me to cover? I'm actually open to taking requests for now because there has been nothing of value as of late. I saw that they dropped new Marvel Rivals gameplay. That shit looked boring. Who, who would have thought it? Oh yeah, that's right. I did. No game have piqued my interest. Yeah, nigga, no games are even coming out. Even GTA 6 might catch a delay. But let me know down below and I'll be seeing you. Take care and peace. Baby, let me see some. Okay, too bad. Bitches, go away. Both ways. Woo! She gon' do it for these bands. She make it clap like I do. Go for my hand. Fuck it up. Stick it up. Go back.